Hey, what's up everybody? So I've got a cousin who lives in Utah and we are going to be visiting him this winter. And he gave me a couple of tips for winterizing my car before heading over there. So one of the things that he mentioned was, first of all, to get some good tires, which I've already done. Uh, number two would be to make sure that I have antifreeze in my coolant system. And number three was to make sure that I have windshield wiper fluid that will not freeze. In other words, de-icer windshield wiper fluid. So today we're going to be taking some steps to help winterize the FJ Cruiser in preparation for our drive. All right, so I recently purchased a couple of things on Amazon. And the first one here is an antifreeze and coolant tester. Um, basically you suck some of the coolant into this little reservoir and it should tell you the freezing temperature of the antifreeze and coolant in there. Okay, second of all, I got some Prestone windshield washer fluid. That's all season. It's also a de-icer, which is alcohol based and will not freeze. It's good for up to negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, we should be good there. And then third, I bought a set of FJ Cruiser windshield wipers. Came across this set of three for about 20 something dollars or so. You know, I just decided to take a chance on this just to see if it will work well. And then third, I have a, an empty bottle that I'm gonna to use to fill up with this windshield washer fluid. Uh, in the event that we have any ice on our windows, I'll be able to just spray some on the windows and de-ice them without having to take a scraper to it. So that's why that's there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the antifreeze and coolant just to confirm that we have the right antifreeze and coolant in there that will not freeze. As far as I know, the Toyota OEM fluid is in there and it looks pink. And it is both an antifreeze and a coolant, so I shouldn't have to add any distilled water or uh, mess with the ratio at all. So we're going to go ahead and, and take a look at that just to confirm. So I'll start there. Okay, tube's going in. Okay, here it comes. All right, so here we go. We have the coolant filled up. There's a line here, it says liquid level. We've got to make sure that the line is level here. And so we have here um, in degrees Fahrenheit, zero, negative seven, negative 20, negative 30, 34, and negative 45. So our freeze point for this coolant is way beyond that. So it looks like we are good to go here. So I just wanted to confirm that. So uh, we're, we're all good here. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out the reservoir of the windshield washer fluid just to make sure that I can uh, get rid of all the stuff that's currently in there so that it doesn't freeze in the lines. Okay, so I'm just going to turn on the car. I'm going to run the windshield wipers and I'm going to make sure that I can empty that now. So. These are the old wipers. Before I'm going to replace them, you can kind of hear um, the noise that they're making, which is kind of annoying. So hopefully once we get the new ones on, it'll be a lot better. So let's get rid of all the old fluid and we'll replace it with the de-icer fluid as well as the wiper blades. Looks like it's out finally. All right, done with that. Let's go ahead and replace the fluid and the wiper blades. I gotta say that stuff, stuff smells pretty bad. It stinks. All right, so we got our washer fluid reservoir here. Yeah. All right, let's go fill it up. So I'm going to pour myself a little bit into this bottle first and then pour the remaining into the reservoir. All right, looks like enough for that. And I'm going to seal that up, keep this somewhere in the trunk. Now we'll be good to go to de-ice any windows. So now let's go ahead and refill the reservoir.
Pretty big reservoir. Alright, everything's in there. Okay, now that that's in there, I'm going to run the washer fluid so that it will enter the lines so that any of the previous fluids will not freeze in the lines. So I'm going to make sure to do that now. All right, now we are good with the lines with the windshield fluid. Now we're going to change the wipers. I'm going to pull out the antenna to make my life a little bit easier. So now that this isn't in the way now. All right, so these are Rain-X wipers. And looking at these, there's a little tab here. So you press this and then you pull the entire thing this way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that to remove the wipers. Um, FYI, these are two different size wipers. This is a 16 inch and then the other two are 14 inches. So we're going to be applying the appropriate replacements uh, in those two sizes. Okay, so here's the tab. I'm pressing it and then I'm pushing it towards me. All right, and it's a J hook. So once that comes out, there it is. I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. out. seems to work better when I flip it backwards and then press the tab. This one here is a little tougher but it's sliding right out. Okay there it is. All right so here come the replacements. All right so these are the replacements and I'm just going to take them out of the bag and take a look here. And you'll clearly see that one is longer than the other two. That one's gonna go to the driver's side. This is the 16 inch, and then these two are the 14 inches. By the way, um, I don't know what they put in windshield washer fluid, but it smells like, it's, it smells like uh, My wife just walked in the garage and said it smells like manure. It smells like manure. And I have to concur. Uh, anyway, uh, don't forget to remove these green plastic things off the blades. So we're gonna get these installed first, and then uh, we'll see if they make any noise. Here we go. Okay, so the way these work is that there is a tab here that you pull open. Now it creates this little opening here. And this is where we slide the J hook in. So once this tab is open, slide this J hook in there. And once it's on the track, we're gonna slide it forward away from us and then close this tab and that's it. And then we're going to remove the, uh, the green insert. And there it is. So all three are done. I'm going to run the washer fluid for a few seconds just to see if it makes any noise. It's definitely quieter than the previous set. And then, of course, the orange washer fluid. Definitely smells better than the other stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hose the FJ down just to kind of get the stuff off of the hood and the, the roof and the windows here. But anyway, um, so far for 20 bucks, I got three wiper blades and they installed pretty easily. So we will see how this combination of de-icer fluid as well as these uh, kind of, I guess they're knockoff wiper blades for, you know, on Amazon. Uh, we'll see how they, they work out. By the way, if you're interested in any of the products that I just used today, I will leave links in the description down below. So go ahead and check those out. All right, so that is it for now, you guys. That's how I winterized my car. Um, on top of the tires that I just posted, uh, I got the de-icer windshield fluid and the new wiper blades. So I'll check back again on my next video about how all of these things worked on our trip. And um, if I don't catch you again through the rest of the year, happy holidays, everybody. And thank you for watching. We will catch you on the next video.